Research estimates a DNA database of just a few million people could be enough to track down nearly everyone in the U.S. Could your DNA be used to solve a murder? And what do you need to know before taking that test? It absolutely does give me hope when DNA is the only thing that we have left to go on. Keeping hope alive with your DNA. It's the launch of Upload for Justice, bringing together investigators, genealogists, and families whose loved ones' cases have gone cold. They're encouraging people to check the box to put your DNA into a law enforcement database. You know, we're talking about very bad people still out there uh, in our communities. You ready? Yep. You might remember Casey Ellison from Unsolved. She wasn't meant to leave that early. Her mother, Missy Ellison, was murdered and her killer never found. The DNA test she takes now could potentially help other cold case families, just as theirs could link to her mother's killer. Be able to finally get the answers to that, that would be, it's a huge relief. It's just going to be a boulder of, of weight lifted off. Research shows most people support letting their DNA be used in violent crime investigations. Some studies show 90% of people do, but for that other 10%, privacy concerns went out for them. A bill to keep health insurers' hands off DNA tests now makes its way through the Florida legislature. This coming as DNA testing company 23andMe lays off 100 people, reportedly amid privacy concerns. Learn what their opt-in and opt-out choices could be. Rochelle Hendrick Stirrup with advocacy group Future of Privacy Forum says to read all of the fine print. It really boils down to what these entities or databases are deciding to do with your data and what you consent to. She says laws on genetic privacy don't cover enough. Do your research. The choice is up to you. There are more than 1,500 unsolved cases in Jacksonville alone. Reporting downtown, Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News, on your side.